that's not what happened academics you know that that's not what happened and for you to pretend that you didn't do anything for you to pretend that you didn't do anything that i just went to your house and i'm just some thought she says i never meant for all that to happen i listen does this sound like she's saying acting on the wrong I know you can never look at me the same. This is what you're saying to me. That's true, but it happened. See, so she's admitted. I'm the middle person. Then she says, it's true, but it happened at your house. I don't have to lie about anything or make up story. Happened at your house. Oh, she says, that's true, but it happened at your house. I don't have to lie about anything or make up stories. I said, yeah, but I got no parts. This is what I'm saying. I got no parts to, to do with what you guys did. I got no parts to do it. Welcome back to Industries TV. And today, we're going to be talking about DJ Academics and a female that claims him and his friends took the box. Now, a lot of y'all may not know this situation happened a long time ago and already has been cleared up by the police. Now, this is my own speculation. The reason this is resurfacing is because of the Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef because this situation has already been dealt with. But like I said, this is my own speculation. I feel like somebody found that girl and paid her some money in order to come out and do that to academics at this time now if this whole situation was true why academics is not locked up why he didn't get locked up when the cops raided his crib and took all the evidence they needed even the cctv footage see me i question everything a lot of y'all believe anything but we're gonna go ahead and get to these clips and then we're gonna come back with our commentary let's go i look crazy right now but i'm not gonna stand here and let this man continue to lie about me that's not what happened academics you know that that's not what happened and for you to pretend that you didn't do anything for you to pretend that you didn't do anything that i just went to your house and i'm just some thought like we didn't know each other for two years you tried to save yourself after your friends to me whether or not you got drunk or not i know that when you woke up you were on top of me too you me too and a test kit was done you know what? I'm gonna come back with my own story. Th this what you wanted and you're about to get it. I've been quiet for way too long. Now when Academics told this story on his stream, this is when she came out with this video and everybody was in shambles. Oh my God, I can't believe he did that. Academics is a weirdo. Without even questioning anything, without any proof or nothing, just her word. That's crazy. Now after she jumped out the window playing a victim, Academics jumped on screen to expose her even more with text messages. Now in those text messages that I'm about to show y'all, she admitted, she admitted to what happened and even apologized. I'm terribly, terribly sorry. I said, I don't know what you want me to say. Hmm, you won I suppose. The reason why I said that is because when she was in my kitchen and I was telling her like, yo, I think she was like, yo, don't you like girls that be and I'm like, bro, you know, like I looked at you. I, and if she remembers this, you know, I'm not capping. I said, you know, men look at girls two different ways. We have girls that we could possibly wipe up. They're good girls and horse. Like, why y'all always think that I want a chick who everybody? So that's why I was like, yo, I don't know what you want me to say, LOL. Because I think she finally, she, when she says I'm sorry, she's finally accepting it that she did have sex with the two dudes. I said, I don't know what you want me to say. I said, I, I guess you won, I suppose, whatever. She says, I never meant for all that to happen. I Listen, does this sound like she's saying acting on the wrong? I know you can never look at me the same. This is what you're saying to me. She says, I think I should talk to someone about this. I say, what you mean? She says, I feel really sad. And I think I should talk to someone about it like a therapist or something. Now, let's keep it all the way 100. If academics had anything to do with Shorty getting pounded, right, by his two friends, why would she be in the text messages saying, I'm terribly sorry and you can't look at me the same? Or I know you can't look at me the same. Like, why would she be saying that? Like, y'all got to make it make sense, man. Y'all have to investigate these things because we living in a time where whatever a female says, everybody gonna run with it everybody believes her but when it come out to be a lie you don't see that same energy everybody is crickets everybody is quiet you ever noticed that now before we get back to these text messages let me just say this why is it never i want justice why is it never i want him locked up for doing what he did to me right why is it always about money oh i'm gonna sue him i'm i'm gonna file a lawsuit 
Do y'all know that anybody in a mama can file a lawsuit? It doesn't mean that they're going to win that lawsuit. Anybody can file a lawsuit these days or for anything. And this is why I don't believe half of these females unless I see the proof. I need to see proof before I jump on the bandwagon. But anyway, with that being said, let's keep it moving. So y'all read this message, right? Okay. Then, I, then it happens and it says, okay. She says, I'm hurt really bad. It's unlike me to do this. This is what she's saying. It's unlike me to do this. And I don't even know the other guy's name. I was just laying there. Now, the crazy thing about this whole situation and these text messages, a lot of females, and I'm not just going to say a lot of females, even males, a lot of y'all is going to dismiss all these text messages because it's in his favor. Because a lot of people don't like academics, but I like playing devil's advocate. I like keeping it real, right? I like looking at both sides of the situation and investigating both sides, doing my homework instead of jumping on the bandwagon like everybody else. A lot of people out here are just followers. They don't have a brain of their own. They don't know how to think for themselves. They see a headline and then they just run with that headline. Now me, I don't know academics out of a hole in the wall. Never spoke to him, never met him, but I do know how these females get down and I'm gonna keep it real every time. Says I'm considering going in for a testing kit for us to figure this out because it's bits and pieces i remember and i'm still not okay that's why i asked you while you were here if everything you did while i was sleeping you were okay with doing remember i told you i said i asked i said before i, I got to confront i said yo, yo everything you did last night you were cool with doing right and she was like yeah i had fun and then when i said yo you know she was like what no i didn't i was passed out for most of it but i i'd wake up now and then also i was in shock i got most of the information from you remember i'm watching this. yo bro you know it's like i'm watching on the camera from you before then i never met the other guy so he just took the opportunity i guess with you i'm anytime i'm with you i'm making a choice always with you with you always i'm making a choice with you i can remember this is a girl i've dealt with for two years on and off type shit I'm making a choice with you always. Yes, good. You, yes. But she said, I blacked out, right? Remember, I told you, I'm sleeping. I get woken up because my homies is leaving. I go to the guest room. I wake her up, right? That's when I wake her up during the night. Then she says, I wish I could see the entire video, how I got upstairs after the pool. And when the other guy got naked on top of me, everyone was gone when I got up. So as y'all can see, in those text messages, it said nothing about act doing anything. It says his two friends, his two friends was with her by the pool, on the deck, and upstairs. It never said nothing about act doing anything. She was just apologizing to act because she didn't know what she did. Maybe she was lit. Maybe she got drunk. Who knows? A lot of y'all females go to parties and y'all be getting too lit for yourself. Not knowing how to control y'all drinking, y'all liquor, or whatever. But to me, it just seems like she's embarrassed about the whole situation. So now she's trying to make it into this big thing that they took the box. Now, I don't know if it's true that his, his mans took the box. But in those text messages that he exposing does not say anything about act taking the box. So at the end of the day, I just think that this is a play to get money. She not trying to get the man locked up. She trying to get money from him. Like what kind of, what? Like at the end of the day, if it's not about justice, I don't believe it happened. I believe she embarrassed that she got smashed by two dudes when she was lit. As she got sober and found out that she smashed two dudes, now is a problem. Now she got to take it even further because she was supposed to be messing with Act, but she let both of his friends smash. That's what, that's, that's what it seems like to me. So to prove that she's not a thought, she want to make this big situation like they took it. You know, I done seen a lot of females that get lit and don't know how to act. They be getting lit trying to open dude's pants. Like, I done seen it. I done seen it with my own eyes. They be getting lit and they got a man. If they mad at they man, they want to smash the other dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know how these females get down. There's not innocent like y'all think. Okay. All right. So cool. She says... I wish I could see the entire video. Oh, I didn't have the right thing. My bad. I'm stupid. Oh, I said, I have no idea. I haven't watched any of it. So I'm telling her, like, bro, I haven't watched the full video of y'all doing everything. But it's like, it's like, I don't know how long they were going for, bro. Like, I just wasn't going to be there. Hey, let me just eat my popcorn and watch my friends out of this girl that I was talking to. Like, bro, no. 
So it was like, um, I have no idea. I haven't watched any of it other than when you were denying it happened. I said, I rather not. LOL. I'd rather not watch the video. That's what I'm trying to tell her. Like, I'd rather not watch this type of video. She says, we don't have a choice because they're going to ask me all that. And I don't remember that part. That's what she said. Then I said, who is they? She says, I mean, I just mean the doctors. Then she says, I don't know how this works. If a statement has to be taken or what. I don't want any of this to happen to any person, other person like that. And this is what I said. I said, I'd rather be kept out of stuff like this. Def don't want to be the middle person because everybody got their size. I talked to my homies. They said, bro, she was mad awake. She was making us take shots. Yo, she was lit. She did blah, blah, blah. That's their story. I talked to her. She's like, oh, I don't remember none of this. And I'm like, okay, this is, I'm, I'm like in a weird position. Then she says the last thing that got my. This is, this is, that's what I keep telling you. Don't invite nobody to your crib. This is why my house got raided. That's true, but it happened. See, so she's admitted it. I'm the middle person. Then she says, it's true, but it happened at your house. I don't have to lie about anything or make up story. Happened at your house. Oh, she says, that's true, but it happened at your house. I don't have to lie about anything or make up stories. I said, yeah, but I got no parts. This is what I'm saying. I got no parts to, to do with what you guys did. I got no parts to do it. Then she says to me, I guess you won't be helping me figure this out. Then she says, that's okay. I know I'll need help because this is too much for just me. I said, of course I can. I said, of course, if I can help, I will. But I was sleeping for the whole thing, LOL. I don't know what your interactions were. And she says, let's see what the advice, the advice. So according to those text messages, Shorty's a liar. She basically lied just to get a lawsuit so she could get some money from Act. And like I told y'all before, I don't know act out of a hole in the wall. I just don't like situations like this where everybody and their mama just want to believe the female just because she says, oh, this happened and that happened. Not saying that some things is not true that she is saying, but she's lying about act doing anything because in that text message and actually in those text messages that's been exposed, it said nothing about him doing anything. It said everything about his friends doing what she didn't want them to do. And I can't even say doing what she didn't want them to do because I wasn't there. Like they said, she was lit. She was passing them shots. She probably was getting drunk as hell herself. And that's how it went down. And let's be real. Let, let's be real adults here, right? How many times y'all go out with a female and she drinking and she getting lit and then y'all get into something? You know what I'm saying? How many times do that happen? It, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, come on now. So now we can't go out with females. We can't have a drink. We can't vibe. Because we, we got to worry about her saying she don't remember what happened last night. Like, come on now. This is why I stay away from these females, man. For real. But anyway, with that being said, man, let me know what y'all think down below in that comment section. Don't forget to smash that like button. And at the end of the day, I know I'm going to have people that's, oh, why you victim blaming? I don't give a flying what you think. I'm going to be honest. I really don't care. I don't really care about this YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I barely post. But I just wanted to talk about this situation and keep it moving. It is what it is. I see a lot of other bloggers posting about it. Jumping on the bandwagon. Oh, Ak is in trouble and da-da. Yeah. See, that's why I stopped posting for a while. Because everything is done for views. So, matter of fact, I'm going to start just doing things for views. I'm talking about titles, thumbnails, whatever. Because y'all believe whatever, right? Y'all, listen, man. I'm Donald Trump's son, right? I'm his long-lost son. Since y'all believe everything. <laughs> Anyway, man, I'm out of here, man.